and welcome back to Spots Rock. Today we are here with Peter from Accept. Hello Peter. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine, how welcome about you? Welcome to our little home here. Thank you, that's beautiful really. <laughs> okay, <coughs> so first of all, how are you doing? You're currently touring, so how is it going? Tour very well, we started in Germany and it was really cool. Um, went to Budapest, somewhere in the Czech Republic. Today we're here, tomorrow Zurich, Barcelona, da, da, da. And so on. <laughs> and so on, you know. <clears throat> but it's, it's, it's been a great tour so far. Cool. And um, it's been six months since uh, Rise of Chaos was released. Yep. So what happened during the past few months? And uh, did you receive good reviews? And what was, in general, the feedback you got? Uh, we got very good reviews. I think part of it because the day before it came out, we had like Wacken Festival. And it was televised, it was streamed all over the world, there were over a million people uh, watching the performance. And um, so the reviews that we got were just really, really good. You know, it, I think it entered Germany at number three. So we were all happy. You know, we worked long on the record. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult sometimes, it takes a little bit more time. And uh, we're really proud of this one, though. Mm -hmm. Cool. And talking <coughs> about Wacken, as you have just mentioned. Sure. Um, you played in 2017 with an orchestra, right? Yeah. So, how was that experience like? Do you have any comments or...? Well, it was it was totally different, you know, we, we rehearsed a couple of days in Prague and uh, everything has to be very precise because the orchestra is placed by the paper, they, you know what I mean? So everything has to be perfect and just to get everybody on the big festival and, and backstage and set up, so... It, it was quite an undertaking, you know, but I have to say in the end it was an incredible experience for the fans too and uh, something uh, that's like a milestone and mm -hmm. I, I think in the accept life so far. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, by the end of last year you also had a tour in South America. Mm -hmm. So um, what was the response like also down there? <laughs> It's incredible down there. I think it's it's the capital of heavy metal, mm -hmm. that's for sure. And uh, we were fortunate to play a lot of countries. I think we did 12, 13, no, I think 13 shows. Went to Uruguay for the first time. Um, some countries we did already, but I think we did four shows in Brazil. We did a lot, and then we did Costa Rica at the end. And uh, we missed one show in, in Brazil, so we're going back in May mm -hmm. and doing a couple more things down in South America. But Truly love it. <laughs> cool. And um, <clears throat> do you think that since the release, or at least the period you were writing your um, your latest record, the chaos of the world has grown compared to those days? Um, I think there always was chaos, but it, it seems like right now it's because we all have social media, every kind of chaos is right there, we read it every day, and there's more, way more, you know, in, in the old days before this, people wouldn't know about a lot of things. You had television and newspaper, that was it, and, and, and the newspaper was a couple of days old. Now we know instantly what's going on in India, what's going on in Russia, in Germany, in America. So, you know, we, we notice that there's a lot of chaos in this world, mm -hmm. and a lot of things going on that are, that are strange and uh, so the title was quite appropriate you know? yeah definitely <clears throat> and uh, now still related to uh, this uh, social media um, uh, yeah event and um, we can see uh, on your facebook page some sneak peeks of uh, your stage you're performing on so we saw some pyro and uh, a really great production is it um, and it's kind of the first time you work with this kind of big production so um, well we had it before in the 80s and on the last two we had a, a different set but this one's really nice uh, because it goes great with the backdrop it's like a 3d effect and we have some cool things we get some rams and some other things 
It always depends how big the venue is. Mm -hmm. If it's a little bit smaller, you can't put all of it on there. But when we have everything on, we just played in Czech Republic, and it really looks really cool, mm -hmm. really cool, you know. And, and the little ramp that you have when you step on, people can see you better, you know. It gives it a different perspective than just everybody on the same line. Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty cool. Hopefully, we have it all here tonight. I don't know, I haven't been inside yet. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> And uh, now, from either he to Predator, what would you preserve from that era? From either he to what to today? To Predator. Predator. Oh, you know, every t you know, every time or every period in life, there's a reason for it. You know, either he, uh, even though people say oh, it's not a good album, I think there's some really good songs on it, but. Uh, it was pr produced like kind of strange, you know, and, and it didn't sound so except at the time. So people who like except probably said, ah, I'm, not, I'm not sure about it. You know, there's a couple of songs on there, like Ecstasy, I really like, uh, I would preserve that. And Predator was the same thing. There were a couple of cool songs on there, like Crossroads. Well, you know, I was singing a, a duet with Udo. It was kind of cool, different kind of things, you know. <clears throat> so. I guess these are the things I would preserve. Some others I wouldn't. <laughs> like? <laughs> like, I, I know I'm not going to say. <laughs> right. Okay, um, now it's recent news that Slayer will quit after this farewell tour. Mm -hmm. And the same has happened, of course, with other huge bands like Motorhead, Black Sabbath, and so on. And so, how long will it last, except? Well, it seems like sometimes we're just getting started. We really feel, you know, very ener energized. Um, when we came back and wrote Blood of the Nations, we realized how important it is for a band to write new material. Otherwise, we're just a cover band of ourselves and playing old songs. We can do that too. But we always wanted to stay with the times. And, and we always, you know, we always think we have something to say still and music still has to be written. So as long as we have ideas and riffs and stuff that we think are worthy, that mm -hmm. fans would like, uh, we keep on going. There's no reason to quit. It's the best job in the world. And you know, every night we spend two hours up on stage and there's nothing better. It's mm -hmm. the best drug you can ever take. Yes. It's the only drug we ever take. <laughs> <laughs> right. So um, that's all for me. So the okay. camera is all yours if you want to leave a message to your Italian fans and to our viewers. Okay, sure. Um, obviously, we love coming here. You know, we love the pasta. <laughs> we had it last night. And uh, I wish we would play a couple more shows. So maybe that will happen next time because each time you come to a country, the next time you play a little more, a little bigger. It's just the way it goes. But uh, thank you for coming. Everybody's come tonight. Thank you so much for coming. Everybody, you can't make it tonight. We'll see you next time. Except and we're out.